Let's add some cool tooltips to our item. Oh, right, we find ourselves back in Intelligent once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom tooltip to Minecraft. And yes, this was the first take, so let's go. And let's just see how this is going to work. So this is actually fairly straightforward. You might have seen this in some popular mods. Uh, I know Mechanism adds something like this. I think Thermal Expansion also. So where you can basically hover over a particular item and then you get a certain tooltip as well. And then you can press Shift and it reveals more of that tooltip. And that's actually very, very straightforward to add. And we're going to add this to our eight ball item over here. So we need to have a custom item class for this so we need a item class and we need to overwrite the append hover text method right here so you can see this one right here just pressing the tab key to auto complete and then we're just going to change once again the names of the parameters here because my god do i hate them not being mapped but i'm hoping that hopefully next tutorial will have a parchment available so we'll see about that well, whatever the case may be, how do we do this now? Well, we can add particular components to this list over here, and those will then be displayed on our item when we hover over it. So what we'll do is we'll make it so that a certain tooltip is added when we press shift, and a certain other tooltip is added when we don't press shift. So we're gonna check for screen dot has shift down, and then we'll also make an else statement over here. And basically whatever is written in here only executes when we hover over the actual item and press shift. And when we're here, it's going to execute when we hover over the item and don't press shift. Let's first of all add it right here. We're just going to say components.add component.literal and we're going to say press shift for more info. And then to make this kind of cool, we're going to call with style on here, chat formatting, and we're going to choose chat formatting yellow in this case. So this is a great idea because then you can basically add some different colors. You can see there are some different colors. You can make this bold as well, underline strike through. So there's quite a few things that you can basically add with the with style and chat formatting over here. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Components.add, a component.literal. This time it's going to be right click to get random number. And then also with style, Let's just choose chat formatting aqua. That's going to be fine. And there we go. That is actually all that we need to do. You can, of course, replace this with translatable texts as well. And then just passing in a key over here that you then use in the en underscore use JSON file. Probably a little bit better long term. But if you just want to try this out, then this way is absolutely fine. Right. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft again, and let's just see if we hover over the eight ball, you can see press shift for more information. And if I press shift, then right click to get a random number. So that is really cool, really awesome. And it just is a very, very cool addition as well. If you want to explain some of your items, you know, if they have some special abilities to actually explain those for the people who play your mod, that can be really awesome indeed. Right, and that is actually how easy it can be to add a custom tooltip to your items. And that will also conclude this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.